Hey, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day to ya. Happy hump day to your baby. Whoo! I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday yesterday. I hope you had a blessed day and, and it was able to spend time with your family and, and all that good stuff. Turn my light on. Um, so yeah, I hope you did have a good holiday. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for, for joining me. Um, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. Okay. Just hit the subscribe button. Okay. Hit the bell to be notified and reminded when I go live and when I, when I upload another video. Okay. Um, leave me a comment. I love to interact with you guys. I love your comments. Thank you so much for them. Share, like, share and like, that's it. And it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button. You guys, <sighs> another day in the neighborhood, y'all. I didn't do really much yesterday for the holiday. I just relaxed. I didn't have my daughter with me. So I'm, you know, so it's just, a, it's just a day off for me, but I'm still blessed to be here this morning. I'm a, 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 a above the ground. I'm above the dirt. I'm walking around with the land of the living. So that's a good thing. Okay. That's a good thing. And I am dying. Gonna say nothing about this camera. Oh God. I'd be glad when God blessed me to give me a camera. Look, so I got my coffee this morning. Everything went good this morning. Mm. And I got my eggs. And look, I can't even turn my head. I my, got me some eggs and bacon and stuff. But yeah, look, I got a email from a subscriber. I, I was so excited. And she said, um, Trace, I wanted to know if you could talk about something for me. So she she wrote me this long email. Well, I need a napkin. But first, let me just show you my bake. My I got a I got a the rest of my my um, kielbasa sausage. This is the last of it. Look, I've been eating on that all day yesterday. And me some bacon. I got me a couple slices of bacon. And then I basically and then my um, my egg, my hard boiled eggs. Just high protein. Yeah, high protein. That's it. No, that's it. So, um, I think I'm eat the yolk this time too. I think I ate it last time. But um, so here's the situation. Her daughter is 24 years old. Okay, she's pregnant. And she just got her first real job, good job. The other jobs, because she's 24. So she she was working like, you know, at McDonald's, Taco Bell, KFC, stuff like that. You know, fast food. She finally got um, a job with benefits. More of a career, not a job. Okay, a lot of times we get jobs. Okay, but not careers. You know. So she's working and she's doing um, medical billing and she works in this big medical, um, it's not a medical office, but it's a medical billing and it's really huge. OK, so they had this big meeting. This is you, the mother was telling me about the daughter. So they had this real big meeting, a real big meeting with in different locations from different cities came to this to where her daughter works. And they had this huge office meeting and everything and it was about safety like they talked about safety um what to do if you know if a person um goes postal at work or gets hurt at work or if there's a emergency or earthquake stuff like that it was like a real big meeting about stuff like that and about workplace violence harassment and and then they talked about their stats and how they've been doing just you know all that stuff so one of the speakers there, the uh, it was a woman. She's gay, and it's obvious that she is. It be, you know she was she was what they say butchy. 
Okay. So in this huge meeting, and the girl, the lady said that the daughter said it was about a hundred people in there. Her daughter raised her hand to ask a question. Okay. She raised her hand to ask a question. And this is what she asked the woman. Hold on. Mm. Now, mind you, the daughter just started working there. She's only been there a month. She raised her hand and the lady pointed to her to ask, you know. She asked the woman, was she a man or a woman? She said, I want to know, are you a woman or a man? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So when I read the email and I read that, I was like, oh my God. So then I emailed her back and I said, well, then before I do this video, I need to get a little bit more. I said, have you ever talked to your daughter about thinking before she speak? And she said, no, it's common sense that she's supposed to do that. Okay. I get that. That when you start getting a certain age, that there's common sense. But she had to be doing stuff like this when she was a child. This blurting out the first thing that comes to her mind. She had to have done that as a child. She had to. She just didn't start doing this. Okay. Now. Her daughter don't, didn't understand. one. Here's one thing. The kind of jobs that she had. She started working at 18. Palco Bell McDonald's and all that. You know they don't. You know. The, demograph, the demographics there. Are different. This is a corporate business. That her daughter is working at. In this meeting, we got top people there, managers and, and CEOs and all this. And you're going to raise your hand and ask her, is she a man or a woman? I, and I'm not, I wasn't there, but I, I, just knowing, I bet you a pin drop. I bet you can hear a pin drop in that place. And she said her daughter always be trying to do stuff to make people laugh and act all silly. And she thought it was just really funny. She was the only one laughing. She, she really went home crying, called her mom and told her the whole thing. And so she said it was common sense for her to think before she speaks. Now, as a child, I know she was doing that as a child. And you've never talked to her about thinking before she speak. About processing things that comes into her mind. Process it. Think about it first before you blurt it out. I know she done that as a child. Because why would she do that now? She had to show signs of that as a child. And you never took the time out to tell her or correct her as a child. She thought it was cute. She thought those things was cute when she was a child. I talked about this before. If, if they do do something like that and it's cute to you, but you know it's not good, it's wrong, you correct them. Laugh in your bedroom with the door shut. Talk about it away from home or where they can't hear you if you just have to laugh. Everything your kids do as a child, as they're growing up, is not cute. It's not funny because you're setting them up for the future. The girl got fired. Okay. That was totally, totally unacceptable.
That was unacceptable. You're going to ask this woman, is she a man or a lady? And then she start laughing. In front of all these people. And she never talked to her daughter. Never talked to her. I have said this before. It starts when we're children. We have to correct our children when they're growing up. I know if you're a single parent, I was a single parent. It, it's hard sometimes because you, you go to work. If you work, you go to work, you come home, you be tired. You got to find at least 30 minutes out your day when you get home to sit down with them, go through their backpack, open up their binders, open up their tablets to see where their mind is at. To see, because sometimes you know how you be sitting in your tablet, you open up your tablet to do your work and you get the doodling stuff. See what they're doodling. Because what they're doodling is showing you what's in their mind. If they're writing stuff, when they're supposed to be in class, read what's in their mind. If they're drawing, that means they totally ain't listening to nothing in class. We need to, you need to go into their backpacks, look at their tablets, look at their books, be involved in their, in their life. Some, some, you know, it, even if it's just 30 minutes a night. An hour. We, you have to do that. When they do little things when they're little, we got to correct them because it's setting them up for their future. That was a good job she had with benefits. 401k, medical, everything. That was a good job. She had a good job. She, now she can't even use him as a reference. And I, I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't even put that job on my resume because you only work there less than 30 days. If 30 days, her mom said. Okay. And so now, because she didn't think before she spoke, used her mind to process what she wanted to ask. She just blurted out what she was thinking. Now, she probably was thinking in her mind, is that a woman or a man? But she... Didn't keep that to herself. She just blurted it out what she was thinking in her mind. Because she never learned as a child growing up. She was never corrected. Just like that tree I was telling you about before. When you see these trees that's grown up strong and tall, they had sticks on the side of them when they when they first when they first was planted. They were real skinny, skinny tree uh, limbs, your tree thing, you know, the tree limb. They was real skinny. The tree was real skinny and limp. And you tie it, a, you put a stick on one side and a stick on the other, and you tie a string on it so you can make sure that it grows straight up. Because if you don't do that, the tree will, the tree will grow. But it's going to grow crooked. However way it leans over. If it leans this way, it's going to grow. It's going to be real thick and it's going to be big. But it's going to be leaning like this. Or leaning like this. If you don't put those sticks in it in the beginning. To help it grow straight. And monitor it. Tie the strings up tighter every now and then. Put the stick in there deeper in the ground every now and then. As the tree gets bigger, you get a bigger, two bigger sticks on the side until it gets strong enough to where, you know, you can take the sticks off. Because you got to keep the sticks on there for a while. But you got to change those sticks out. Because when you first put the tree up, you don't need no big sticks. You just need a, just little sticks to hold it up. Then as this tree gets stronger and bigger, you know, it's still kind of limp. It's still growing, but you still got to put some sticks there. So you just go get some bigger sticks. Tie it a little bit tighter. You monitor it as it's growing. 
You nurture it. You discipline it. You praise it. You talk to it like you're supposed to do our children. We're supposed to nurture our kids. Correct them when they make a mistake. But it's hard if we don't even know ourselves. If, if it wasn't taught to us. But as we get grown and we have a lot of trial and error, life experience, that's what we teach our kids from our life experience. There's a lot of things I didn't know either. And I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of bad choices. And I learned from them. I grew from them. I got wise from them. So when I had a child, I was still learning too. But I did know enough. I did have enough trial and error and life experience to groom her. To get her set. For when she gets grown. Now you in a corporate office and you're going to ask somebody about their, 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 you know, are you a man or are you a woman? I can't even grasp the thought of that. Somebody was, are you a man or are you a woman? That was your question. You were the only one laughing. You look around, everybody looking at you. You get called into the office. Check already ready. They had to apologize to that woman after after the meeting was over. I mean, she didn't say that in the email, but I, I'm quite sure me being working in corporate. I know they God, they apologized to that woman for that. Oh, my God, how embarrassing was that for that company? They're looking at them like, are you screening your employees before you hire them? Are you doing background checks? Are you how how extensive is your interview questions? That made them look bad as well. And then you as a why would you ask somebody that? And not and think it was OK. And then the mother says the one who emailed me says, well, she should know better. Well, she's never been taught. She's been blurting out this type of stuff for years and never been corrected. So she thought it was OK. She's only 24. She's never had a real good job before. Now, this is one incident in her life she can look back on now. Her Now she can if she. If she learned from this, hopefully she did. If she learned from this, she knows not to do this again, but she cannot use them as a reference. She cannot. What are your thoughts on this subject today? Please, please leave in the comments what you think, please. I appreciate you to say good morning. I want you to say good morning to me and wish me a happy day. But I also want you to tell me what you think about this subject. Please. I want to see your thoughts. And the person may be watching. They may need to see what, you're, what you have to say about this. I already said what I had to say. It starts when you're a child. Now... She's learning the hard way. She's making her road even tougher. See, we always going to have obstacles. We're always going to have rocks in our road. But your parents are here to help you not have as many rocks. We supposed to be here to help you know how to maneuver over those rocks. Now you she's creating boulders in her in, in, in her road now. As parents. We, we can't keep them from having obstacles, but we can make their obstacles not be as many. We can try to eliminate some of those rocks. By sharing with them our experiences. And talking to them and correcting them. Everything your kid do ain't funny.
Because it might be cute and funny now, but it's not going to be cute and funny later. It's not. That was humiliating. It made her look so ignorant. It, it was just, to me, that was just horrible. Horrible. That was just absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But life goes on. She can learn from this mistake. It's not the end for her. You tell that to your daughter if you're watching. It's not the end. Chalk this up as a learning experience. She's pregnant. Then now she can now she got something she can tell her kids. Her child. We have to talk to our children. We have to correct them when they do little things like this. We have to tell them how important it is to think before you speak. Use your mind and process these things before you just speak. You don't speak to everything. The first thing come into your mind. Every time somebody say something to you or every time something's going on, you always don't have to have something to say. There's n always not. You don't have to reply to everything. Please leave in the comments what you guys think about this subject today. It really was like I read this over the weekend. I read this Sunday. I mean, whatever day. Well, uh, yesterday or whatever Sunday or yeah, it was Sunday. And I thought about it yesterday. Look here, you guys. Please leave me a comment. OK, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy hump day to you. Keep your head up. Chest out. Pop that collar. Keep your nose level because you don't want to be walking around with your nose all stuck up in the air. Keep it level right here. Right here. Keep a smile on your face. Don't let nobody steal your joy today. It was given to you for a reason. Don't you just hand it over to somebody just like that. You keep your joy. It belongs to you. Got your name on it. Remember, stay sucker free. Peace out.